First watch show is part review, part reaction. Today we have with us a true gem, actually, of the movies yeah. that we've been discovering as we've been doing this show. True Believer. This came out in actually I don't even know. <laughs> this came out. It's an eighties movie. If it came out it, with the same time period, nineteen eighty nine. Okay, so because yeah. in the movie I think it's 87, 88, yeah, something it is, like that. Yeah. So it's um, about which makes right. sense because yeah. it's probably about when it was made. Yeah. Um, and this stars James Woods. Is it James mm. Wood or Woods? James Woods. Yeah. Wait, um, yeah there's James an Woods. S on it, right? Yeah. yeah. James and Woods. Robert Downey Jr., Robert who's like super young. Obviously. Super young. This is one of his early roles. Yeah. And then uh, Kurtwood Smith. There's a lot of famous people in this and movie. And it was directed um, by Joseph. Joseph Rubin, Rubin directed it, who directed The Stepfather with Terry O'Quinn, right? Terry and O'Quinn. he directed Sleeping with the Enemy with Julia Roberts. He directed The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin. Yep. Money Train. You remember that one? With I Wesley do remember that and, one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so actually, um, these are, this is like, a, you know, we review a lot of B movies, so. Uh, Lesser known movies. This is like a, a studio picture. Well, yeah. With so like what's big interesting about in this it. movie is that yeah, like I had honestly never heard of this movie. Me neither. Um, mm-hmm. And this is like a studio movie. Like Mike said, famous people in it. They obviously had a substantial budget. It shot on location in New York City. And in 80, um, 89 when it was made, uh, James Woods was a huge star. And Robert Smith Jr. was pretty was big. Like coming, coming up, off right? of RoboCop. Robert yeah. Downey Jr. is coming up. And I also, think, if you watch so. Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf's mom is in this, and she's young. Um, but and this has the, as you can see, this has the VHS slipcase, which is mm-hmm. always really fun because I don't know what's going on with this artwork, but this looks like someone did it, like it like was the probably 90s done for a VHS post, yeah. release or something like that. But this is the original poster, so the setup of this is really interesting too. Robert Downey Jr. is a young law clerk who he went to Harvard, right, or Somewhere, Yale, or like one of the big schools, yeah. and he. Really, in, he re, was really impressed by the work of this lawyer played by James Woods, and so he sends him a letter. He has all these opportunities for like high paying jobs and crap. Yep. And this guy who has his own small practice in New York City sends him a letter, and he's based in Greenwich Village, right? So it's like this classic thing of like the hippie who lives in the mm-hmm. village, right? And the guy accepts him as a law clerk and then forgets about it. So he shows right. up and he's like, "Wait, who are you?" And the guy is played by James Woods, and so he was like this hippie activist lawyer in the '60s. And now it's like the classic story of the baby boomer, right? He was like a hippie activist, like left wing radical, and now he has like a he's like a corporate lawyer basically, he, he, who's like sold his ideas. Yeah, he got like, burned out, and like he used to like represent. Like, there's a picture I think I don't know if it was like Malcolm X or like a Malcolm X type. Yeah. Uh, so he like did and all. He these, got arrested, like protesting. He, yeah, he did all these and, like, like the whole kind of Berkeley ethical like, cases yeah. and all this stuff. And now he now when you first meet him, he's getting a drug dealer off. And his whole thing is what he's what he's basically he's lying to himself yeah. and saying that the the war on and I mean this is not. It's not that this isn't true. He's saying that the war on drugs has become an excuse for the government to infringe upon people's civil liberties, right? right. Which you could see how a radical, like, former hippie would believe that. And mm-hmm. it's not that that isn't true. But instead of, like, defending people who sold, like, one bag of weed and went to prison, he's defending actual, like, drug, drug traffickers. Pushers. And yeah. it's, not, it's not even a, a question of whether they're... No, they definitely them. are. He's just trying to get them off on technicality. Yeah, there's basically. a line in there where, uh, you know, they, they, they brought a case about, like, a murder case. And there's a line in there where he's like... You know, even if you want to do like big murder cases, everybody's guilty. Like everybody. Yeah, James so, Woods says so that. He's, he's like, he doesn't he even believe that, that like innocence is him. possible. So that's the whole backstory to this. What the movie is actually about is there is a young Korean American guy who is in prison for having killed uh, like a member uh, of the uh, triads, right? Yeah, like uh, just on the tried, street yeah. in the middle of the day, like in Chinatown, just shooting him in the head, right? And that he's getting, he gets attacked in prison by a white supremacist, and they have like a big fight, and he gets really seriously himself, injured. Yeah. And so the mother of that guy comes to James Woods's character, and she's like, "Look, my son is innocent. I know he's innocent. Like, you have to help him get out." And her son has become this like really hardened, yeah, like gang he's member. He's been basically. in jail for eight years, and for he's a like, crime "I need to choose a tribe, do. and I need to be defended, or else the white supremacists are going to come from like everyone's going to come after me." So he joins a Latino gang. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things that I found to be kind of funny about this movie and again i'm not trying to bash this movie but it was kind of funny that a lot is made about the fact that this character is korean and the 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 way they put him in jail was by saying he's a member of a chinese gang right but the actor is japanese (laughs) (laughs) so like throughout the movie throughout the movie james woods is like you don't know what a korean is and you're trying to say that a korean is chinese and no one can tell these asians apart and it's a japanese actor playing a korean so uh (laughs) so basically james woods robert downey jr they take on the case and they uncover this giant conspiracy with and like, like cops, Nazis and, cops, Nazis, yeah. the prosecutor, and all this stuff. I don't, really I don't like want to spoil the, it. Yeah, so but the, the, it's, like it's really the, good. the world to which they enter kind of reminds me of the world of American Gangster. Yeah. And these cops who basically like run this criminal cartel and like lord over the whole city yeah. kind of thing. I think these cops are a little, not like 
they did like one thing, right? No, I, it's I don't. Like, it's not quite yeah, like yeah, American Gangster level, and, but and like, and they're basically like, and they justified that. Uh, you know, Kurtwood Smith, who plays the DA, who who oversaw this, he says um, trade offs, right? Like, yeah. there's a trade off. Like, yes, this innocent guy went to jail, but we put away this all these other people, all these yeah. other people, and so he's like, I would do it again because of the trade off. So. I, we, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a really good legal it's drama. it's a very good yeah. movie. And, like, as I was watching Acting's it, good, I good. kept waiting for the other show to drop. I'm like, okay, when is this going to take a weird turn and not be good? Because usually, like, I mean, we both watch a ton of movies. Yeah. And we both went to film school. I'm not trying to say we're, like, the greatest people in the universe and we know everything about movies. But we like, are, though. I was alive when this movie came out. And, like, going to see movies. Like, this came out the same year as Batman. I saw that in the theaters. Like, yeah. it wasn't like it came out before I was born yeah. or something. I've never even heard I've of it. I've never heard it's, of this It's movie. very underrated. The only thing I have a problem with is, is James yes, Wood's tell hair. tell us about it. It's so bad. It's so bad. To me, it looked like he murdered a poodle, put it on his head, and then peed on it. Like, it's, like, one of the one of the top three worst hair no. styles in all of I, cinema. To me, it looks like it went... It's it, horrible. Like, like I, I was watching it, and I was like, so it, it's like... They, Whoops, <laughs> I got enraged, like, I even knocked it down. The same. I'm like, did the same Woo. people who make this make Amadeus, and they just had like a leftover like it Mozart got, wig it or looked something like, like that? It looked like a dirty subway rat uh, like, with long not, hair. He's supposed to be a hippie. Right, who has gotten older, but in like in some so small aesthetic way is hanging on to like a vestige of his past. But it doesn't. It looks like a like you know in like in British court they have to wear the powdered wigs. Yeah. It looks like that. Like it it's doesn't bad. look like a hippie's hair. It looks like Beethoven's Merkin. But if you can get past that, the rest of the movie is really really good. It's really so. re- you can get so, past that. So check if you it can out. Deal with yeah, this hair. With this is a really good movie. So. Um, and these. So if you're unfamiliar, Mill Creek, you know, puts out a lot of these '80s mm. movies on Blu-ray with the slipcase, like Legend of Billy Jean. Uh, Silent Rage with Chuck Norris. What else have we watched? Uh, like a ton of these the movies. The New Kids. The and... New Kids is another good one. Um, but the point being, these are dirt cheap. So like Best Buy, where else do people buy Blu-rays? Amazon, if, you, if you're in LA Walmart and you go to like Amoeba, like whatever your local like record store is that sells movies, these are really not expensive. So if you're a big fan of 80s movies, and then is this one on Movie Spree? Or not. No. Mill Creek has its own streaming service. So if you're watching on YouTube, we put links in the description of the videos to where you can go and see these. And all of the ones that Mill Creek has the rights to stream that are on their streaming service, we will put links directly to the streaming service if you're more of a streaming yeah. person than a physical media person. Um, it's just nice so, to have both sometimes. True Believer. It's released in 1989. James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. I would, like, highly recommend it. I really like this movie Agreed. a lot. And we will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>